All right, Kyle, about 48 hours out from the fight. How are you feeling? Feeling awesome. It's the best I've ever felt any fight camp. Um, I'm becoming a pro with the nerves, learning how to cope with them. Uh, instead of being nervous, I'm just excited. What kind of things will you be doing in these next couple of days leading up to the fight? Uh, I've got to cut a crap load of weight today and then have a little snack, cut a crap load of weight tonight, get some good sleep, rehydrate, and kick ass. What difference does it make being here in your hometown right before the fight as opposed to being in another city? Um, it's, it's convenient. Um, it's with cut and weight process. I'm still staying in the hotel when I get in a mindset. Um, I don't want to be in the convenience of my own home and my own bed. So I like to come here, sleep in the hotel, see all the athletes and the UFC staff. It just gets you in that mindset. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. Um, the convenience of my gym down the street, that's where I'll be cutting my weight. So that's nice. I don't have to do it in the room with in a room full of animals. So <laughs> it'll be nice to go to my own gym by myself, get, get that weight off and uh, be with my coach. Who's going to be in the stands at TD Garden for you on Friday night? Um, my fans, family, friends, training partners. I'm sure I have uh, a lot of fans there cheering me and supporting me. This isn't your first rodeo in TD Garden. Does it get more and more exciting the more you get to fight there? Um, yes, just because um, I'm experienced now and I'm looking to put on a, a hell of a show and uh, really solidify my name in this UFC and, uh, you know, hopefully get another contract and uh, make some waves in 2020. And this is, this is where I'm going to start, at the Garden. For Boston sports fans that are used to really good sports, obviously, in this city, why should they come out and watch what's going to go down at TD Garden on Friday night? Well, first off, is the card is stacked with tons of sleeper fights. Uh, it's going to be action-packed. My fight in particular is going to be extraordinary and, Lots of fireworks, and the kid I'm fighting is, uh, has all the ingredients for a great fight. So uh, you're not going to want to miss it. I'm throwing down and putting my life on the line, so tune in. We know you always come out with a lot of energy. What are we going to see from you in the octagon? Controlled chaos. When the opportunity presents itself, I'm going in for the kill. All right, Kyle, good luck. Thank you.